is Gloria and today I'm going to share with you all a very very simple recipe for making your own play-doh at home so this is what we need we need two cups of flour one cup of salt one teaspoon of cream of tartar but don't worry if you don't have any cream of tartar at home I don't and I won't be using it today but if you use cream of tartar, it will make your play-doh last a bit longer. And two spoons of oil and one cup of hot water. That's all we need. So hopefully we all have these ingredients at home already. Maybe not cream of tartar, but the other things. So I'm going to show you how to make the play-doh. It's really simple. Uh, I have here already um, two cups of flour. So I've used this flour. I've measured two cups. And put it into my bowl already and the next thing we need is one cup of salt so I have um, measured one cup of salt here this is one cup of salt I'm going to pour it all in with my um, flour and next cream of tartar I don't have it uh, but that's fine I will have two spoons of oil so this is the oil I need, get a spoon and we measure out two spoons, so one and two, alright, so two spoons of oil and what do we need at last, one cup of hot water. So this is the hot water I have boiled and you will need your um, the help of your mummies and daddies here because they, um, this is hot water so to be safe you ask your mummies and daddies for help and you measure one cup of hot water and you pour it in you make sure that the water is really really hot um, and then you mix the mixture right. so this is my um, flour two cups of flour one cup of salt two spoons of oil and one cup of hot water so look it's um, it's coming together now and uh, if you like if you don't want your play-doh to look very plain you can add um, different things like chocolate powder or cinnamon powder um, to, to make it have different colors and to smell nice and you can also add some food coloring if you have any at home uh, to make your play-doh look nice with different colors so here I have some uh, just normal hot chocolate powder I'm gonna mix a little bit of um, chocolate powder in my play-doh so it will it will smell nice actually I should have mixed the chocolate powder in before I before uh, it turned hot I should have mixed it in um, before I put the hot water anyway so this is almost ready and it's still quite hot so you have to be very careful but it's almost done All right if it's not too hot you can try using your hands oh it's very warm it feels like play-doh already it feels lovely it's like warm play-doh and it smells like chocolate so there you go this is the play-doh and yeah if you have any kind of food colorings at home you can use it and you can have different colors mine doesn't look very nice I'm sure you can make nicer ones at home and there you go this is my play-doh
right, I hope you like it. It's a really, really, really simple recipe. And um, after playing with your Play-Doh, uh, you can wrap it up in cling film, put it in the fridge, so it will last longer. And then you can take it out again whenever you need it. So I hope this was fun and helpful. And try doing this at home with your mummies and daddies. It'll be, it'll be fun. And I'm sure you'll love the Play-Doh that you make by yourself.